I heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. <sighs> Guess that's that then. What, they kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. <sighs> Sorry, I tried. We talked it over, but... in the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Uh, be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. Uh, I'll catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow down. <laughs> Keep it. We'll talk later. I promise. Sorry, you were saying? More reason to live it up now. Yep. Oh, no. You better not be about to ask for more money. Okay. What were we talking about? It's been too long since we did this. Not since we went on that all night bender after eight. We were all pushing real hard for you, you know? So, where'd we leave off? They did not give us the boot. It was an amicable separation. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. I'd offer to share, but... You know. Uh... Where were we? Can't believe it's already been a year. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going above and beyond. Thank you. No need for that, boss. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yeah, but when shit hits the fan, it's good to know you're in my corner. End of the day, you're all I got. <laughs> Sorry, boss man wasn't having it. Oh, my bad. Continue. Happy to look out for you, like I know you'll look out for me. So long as someone looks out for my stomach. Tifa's got you covered there. As a friend, or as a cook. As if you've really got to ask. <laughs> hey, right? little guy. You need anything? <laughs> oh, yeah. That tickles. <laughs> I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> you know, it'd be really cool if we could do this again tomorrow night. Oh, we will. Avalanche. Avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> you heard him. It's on for Why sure. Why not every night? <laughs> What's up with them? We'll find them soon enough. Man, seems like the boss always gives us the most shit-tastic assignments. I guess that's why we're paid so damn much. <laughs> what are you looking at? We got a problem? What? <sighs> hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Pretty set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That uh, depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch, do you? Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. 
Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Got something to say? What? You looking at me? Are they gonna fight? Or are they gonna recruit him? Hey. Move it! I'm I so said sorry. move! Are you that mercenary everyone's talking about? Staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Walmart. Am I right? Word of advice, Blondie. Don't piss off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. And don't worry, I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it. You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh, yeah? You wasted my time. Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest.
take her. Looks damn near rough, huh? You want a piece of me? I'm not gonna let you sleep over me. You have made all of our lives. Then I have to say something. I love what you're doing for the town, Merc. Hey, Merc. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. The watch is saying they're gonna step up their game. Are you gonna let me in, so we can talk in private? Guess I'll get right to the point then. Huh, what have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not, what do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight. You and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but if I don't deal with this now... It's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here.
You all set? Take all the time you need. Nothing a woman likes more than being kept waiting. But seriously, get your ass in gear already! I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. The watch is saying they're going to step up their game. You all set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. Just another job. Huh? Huh? Tough break. They changed the times. The last train's already left. Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like, talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. <sighs> Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then. Guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions. Yeah! <laughs> I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Try that drop. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck. That is? The fake ID 
LAPD's may have held up, but from this point on, if we get pinged by a scan... They'll come for us. Yeah, what he said. Oh, man. Just like that? No need to worry. They've got cloud, remember? Hey, you do know how to drive, right? Soldiers get mandatory training. Well then, you gonna take my breath away? Make my head spin with your amazing skills? Don't blame me if you get sick. <laughs> Someone's having fun. How can I not? A suit by Billy. A young couple thrust together by fate, race through the neon street nuts. Get off. Yeah. It hit my heart.
We look like kids on trikes. You're damn right to do. You're part of that we too, you know. <laughs> we made it! Woohoo! Top side! Keep going till we hit the station? No, head straight for the warehouse. Aww. Our magical ride is almost at an end. Why are you talking like we're not here? Because you're not. Clearly we are. Not over yet. Cloud! A little help! You better hurry, Cloud! Yeah. What say we set it 
As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our friends will never rest! <laughs> Wait for me! Through! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. You failed the test. What test? Driving. I'm great at driving. <laughs> great at scaring your passengers, more like. Not used to having any. Maybe you should just let me drive. Nope. <laughs> Guess I'll take one for the team and be your back warmer again. Look at that. It's the end of the ride. <sighs> we'll go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. 
Now let's roll. The residential area is just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> district where they put you when your parents work for Shinra all their reactors were slowly killing the planet we were living the good life Someone's playing hard to get. Folks here must be living off 304 times what I do. comes home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Ah, uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it.
With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. A signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Time to go. Inside, you'll find a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. Sorry about dropping in like this again. This will always be your home. So, how's practice going? <laughs> Going? You get so fixated, lose sight of things. That's why I'm glad you've got a rock like this. Always there, picking up space. Hey. <laughs> Raised on praise, I see. So that's where she gets it from. The legendary Midgar special. Fantastic as always, Mrs. R. I always keep enough. We'll be chatting Mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Jesse. What's this? Dear Mom and Dad, Sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but... I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role. And closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as... the princess? This isn't it. No, not here. My dad, he was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor.
Thanks. So happy. Hey guys, here comes a Midgar special. Eat as much as you like. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Ah, uh, you know damn well huh? what she means. Uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <laughs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the Gold Saucer. Ah. But what do you care? No. I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. 
Worked her ass off for years, until finally she caught a break. Top billing. Parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night... Her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako Storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now. Between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon... You'll get caught up in the flow and... Poof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jesse about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait, where are the guards? <laughs> Looks like someone beat us here. And I don't think it was Jesse. This had better not get in the way of our plans. It won't. Huh. Don't see anyone. What the hell happened? Hey man, the plaza's that way. Warehouses are further in. Jesse's supposed to be circling around from back, right? <laughs> 